was a mother and her two young children at their apartment pool. She was Palestinian American, wearing a hijab, speaking to her children uh, in Arabic. They were in the shallow end of the pool. She's watching them, speaking to them as they're playing. A woman, 42 year old woman, walks up to her and confronts her with racist remarks, asks her where she's from, and hears her speaking Arabic to her children, and then asks her if these are her children jumps in the pool, drags the, the six-year-old and three-year-old to the deep end of the pool. The six-year-old is able to get away from her and has like some scratches. As the mother is trying to kind of comfort the, the little boy, the six-year-old, the three-year-old is pulled and, and her head is put underwater and attempting to be drowned. The mom tries her best to get to her. The woman uh, pulls off her hijab, uses it to to beat her, tries to kick her away so she can continue to put the three-year-old's head underwater. Finally, someone jumps in and is able to help and, and rescue the, the little girl. And as she's being arrested, she's even up looking back and saying, tell her I will kill her and her whole family. This was just a regular day, taking her children to the pool. This is what Congress is inflaming with their language, with their lack of language. Um, against these types of things. So it's just, you know, it's the fear that, that lives within the Palestinian community, the Arabic community, the Middle Eastern community, the Muslim community uh, on a day-to-day -day basis in this country.